Okay, question five. Um, uh, logs question. Uh, so we, uh, this is subtraction of logs. So we're going to use the property of logs. Uh, we're going to, to of subtraction being a division. If we do that, so I'll just bring that down here. Uh, so we could say that that's log to the five, 75 divided by three, sweet. And that then turns into log uh, five to the 25. That is five squared. So we can write that log five to the five squared. And then, oh, we should be able to write that there's just two from here, but you can multiply it down in front and go two log five, five. And of course, five, five is log five, five is one. And that means two times one. The answer is two for part A. Part B, well, it's 25 raised to log five to the eight. Um, well, I'm gonna start off by changing this 25. I'm gonna call that five squared. So I'm gonna go five squared is equal to uh, log five to the eight. Uh, powers of a power to a power, so I'm gonna multiply that. So that's five to the two log five eight. Uh, that two now can be multiplied up a bit like the opposite to the previous example. I'm just using the rules of logs here. Right, eight squared. 8 squared, 64. All right, so we have another one of those situations where uh, just equals 1, 5 to the log base 5 is kind of cancels each other out here, and we're just left with uh, 64, and that's from uh, the rules. Uh, you can find those in your formula booklet, or if you're not entirely sure, you might need to review them.